Hi guys, it's Megan from Style Girlfriend, back for episode number three of Ask Style Girlfriend. Um, I have a lapel mic. I'm not in front of a window. I hope you guys uh, enjoy that because that's the main feedback that I got from uh, the first couple of videos. So addressing that, hopefully um, this is gonna just continue to get better, but I appreciate your patience as I figure out this whole tech world. So our first question comes from Tom, who asks, what is the best look for a guy on a first date? Um, I love getting questions like this because it means that you guys are putting in an effort and you know making sure that the girl that you're trying to impress, that you're actually impressing her. And I think that alone means that you probably are. So you're definitely on the right track, Tom. Um, you know, obviously it depends on what you're doing for your first date. Uh, but I don't think any girl is going to complain if you show up in, you know, a nice, pair of slim cut dark jeans and you know a nice crisp button up shirt and maybe a blazer um run a comb through your hair <laughs> before you go and meet her um i think though the only thing is obviously you want to be really comfortable if it's a first date you want to make sure that you look and feel like yourself so if you never would wear a blazer don't wear a blazer that's fine but you know if you are like a really big you know on kind of just a jeans and t-shirt kind of look if that's like everything in your wardrobe you can still put in a little extra effort even if you're dressed really casually you know trade in your dirty sneakers for a pair of checka boots or you know um you know don't wear your baseball hat that you always wear wear dark jeans instead of light wash ratty boot cut jeans you know there's always ways to just sort of up your your game a little bit so um yeah just, you know, just trade up and tell her she looks nice when you see her and then hopefully she'll return the compliment. I got this next question off of Facebook. Uh, Rich wants to know, what bag can I bring to work? I've been using my backpack, but I know I need to upgrade. You know, slow clap for knowing that you need to get rid of the backpack for a work look. Um, but yeah, I, I guess what I'm wondering is when do briefcases go out of style? Like why? Is that not on people's radar anymore? I feel like guys carrying a really nice leather briefcase to work, like that's that's legit. Like you look like you're showing up and you mean business, and I like that. Um, and I think the nice thing too about briefcases is if you really put aside some money to invest in a, a really great leather briefcase, you're gonna have that thing forever, and it's just gonna look better and better with age so long as you take care of it. And you know, one day you could hand that down to your kid and I, I just think that's the coolest idea um, you know it's what I wanted it's what women do with nice bags you know like a lot of girls I know they you know got handed down a beautiful bag from their mom um, and it's something that they really cherish and it's something that they can put to good use so I love the idea of bringing back the briefcase I don't think it ever went out of style as a classic but it's definitely something to consider if you're ready to upgrade so our last question for today comes from Phil, who says, any tricks for sweat? It's 110 degrees of the humidity here, but I can't exactly show up to work in shorts and a t-shirt. Fair. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think this all the time, but I don't know how guys go to work in suits when it's that hot. I don't mean to not be helpful, but that's crazy. <laughs> like, I couldn't do that. Um, so at least it sounds like you work in a office environment that's casual enough to wear what button downs maybe you know dress pants um so i would just start experimenting with different fabrics i mean you're a style girlfriend reader if you are watching this so you're already someone who is looking to sort of upgrade their look and is willing and able to play with you know their wardrobe a bit so that's great and so it won't be crazy if you show up in you know seersucker pants or maybe a linen shirt one day um that's not too see-through or anything like that um so i would say definitely experiment with different fabrics um i think it's actually really important to stay well groomed um in the summer you know if you get like the back of your neck cleaned up more often than maybe you would you'll just feel fresher you'll feel you know a little less gross when it's so hot um, so definitely pay your barber more visits than often. And then the last thing I would say 
These have been a lifesaver to me this summer. Um, these are Ursa Major face wipes. Uh, and I keep one in every single bag that I have. And if I, you know, have to walk 10 minutes to get to the subway and I'm in heels and I become a disgusting sweaty mess on the way there, I take one of these bad boys out and just um, and these are actually for guys. I use them because, I don't know, don't tell anyone. But I mean, there's, <laughs> you know, it's definitely not a girl thing. It's not like a makeup remover. It's nothing like that. Um, and a ton of different brands make them. I know Simple makes them. Like you can find them at the drugstore. Um, at Target, they have, uh, I think they're called Say Yes to Cucumbers. And they have face wipes uh, that I've tried and have really liked. So I would definitely invest. I mean, invest is a strong word. They're like five dollars but I would take some face wipes for a test drive um, and yeah just keep them in every bag they'll just kind of help you feel less disgusting when it's 110 degrees out apart from that I don't know get a job at a pool be a lifeguard you can wear a swimsuit all day so that's it thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of ask style girlfriend uh, please do keep sending me your questions I love hearing what you guys want to know about um, I get great questions and I want to keep doing this as long as possible. So <laughs> keep sending them in. Okay, talk soon. Bye. So our last question for today comes from Phil, who says, any tricks for sweat? It's 110 degrees of the humidity here, but I can't exactly show up to work in shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> this dog is shot. <laughs> okay. Can we start